If you're a student leaving the district, you might want to take some of your data with you when you leave. Here's how to do that. I'm going to click into my Google account, manage your Google account. At the top here, it says transfer your email and Google Drive files to another Google account. That's what I want. Start transfer. Transfer your content. Enter a destination account, so I will send it to my other Gmail account. It has to be a Gmail account. If you don't have another account, you can do that by clicking right here. So I will send a code to my other account. And this will verify my destination account. So I will check my email at my other account and look for that email address. I've received an email that says verifying your account and it's given me a code that is valid for 24 hours. So I click to get my confirmation code and it is quite long. It is A8C42E42 and it gives me that information right there in my email saying that I need to sign into janet.bellidpsb.ca and enter that code. So now I'll say verify. Okay, so now I can choose what I would like to transfer to that account. So I could um, transfer my drive and I can transfer my Gmail. Maybe um, that's all I want. So I will say start transfer. And now I will enter my password and click Next. So it gives you the steps again here. So I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, and then now I will click on Start Transfer. In actuality, I don't want to transfer it, so I'm going to stop at this point. But when you click Start Transfer, it will now move all of my data from here to here. That's it. When you transfer your data to another Gmail account, it will transfer your docs, everything in your drive, and it will also transfer your Gmail. Now, one thing that it doesn't transfer is documents that were shared with you. It will only transfer documents that you own. Another piece to remember is that we have unlimited storage in our drives with Edmonton Public Schools, whereas if you have a personal Gmail account, you may not necessarily have enough space in that drive for to hold all of the information that you're transferring. So if you find that you're receiving an error that you have too much data to transfer, you may decide to use Google Takeout instead to transfer your documents to a hard drive or to um, a portable hard drive or a USB stick. So here's how to do that. Once I'm on my intro page, I like before I can go down to my Google account. And instead of clicking transfer your content, which takes me to where I transferred my drive and Gmail files, I'm going to go right down here to um, data and personalization. That transfer button is here too. I'm going to scroll all the way down to download or delete your data. If I click on download your data, it will make that copy of my data. You can see I've done this a bit before, but you can create a new export. Here you have much more control over what you can download. So it gives you lots and lots of Google products. I want to go to my Google Drive, so I'll head down to Google Drive. There we go, under Drive and I can choose my formats. So do I want all my different formats? Yes. I can choose advanced settings. Would I like to include named and uploaded versions? Yes or no. And I can choose how much data I would like to export. So would I like all of my data or would I perhaps only like my data, deselect all, 
in my Google Classroom. So I'll go down to Classroom, click that, and then you click OK. And scroll down to the bottom of your page and click Next Step. Then it lets you know, would you like the download link sent to you by email? Would you like to do this every two months or just once? Would you like a zip file or a TGZ file, a zip is the most common, and would you like it limited to a certain size of file? And then click Create Export, and then it will let you know that it's creating a copy of files, and you will get an email once that export is complete. Once you're done, you'll click on Manage Exports, and it will let you know what has been exported from your last export and you'll be able to download your data from right inside there. You will have that link sent to you in an email once the export has completed. So that's how you have more control over what you can download and how you can download it to your drive or to a portable thumb drive instead of just transferring it to another email account. Hope this is helpful.